dad's body of work represents a, you know, a good, well over a quarter of a century of Australian public and political life summed up through his eyes, um, you know, through his pen. One of the things that I think is, is quite remarkable about Dad was his ability to sort of traverse the, 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 the world of fine art and painting and portrait painting as well as being you know, one of Australia's greatest ever cartoonists and, and illustrators. So uh, you don't get a lot of people who span the two disciplines and do, and do it so well. It's what the artist does is inspire, is first of all, inspired by something seen. I don't know why, but some people, people like me and Hannes, you see something and you think, oh gee, that's great, I really want to get that down. Well, how do you get it down? You see in 3D, but you draw in 2D. Since November last year, I've been doing the daily editorial cartoons, and in the last couple of months, I've also been, in the, been setting up a gallery uh, up here on the Central Coast, just around the corner from where I live and from where my dad used to live. Um, I'm setting up a gallery to showcase his work. He died very suddenly and, um, and the estate, which consists of me, my brother and um, my dad's widow, Gung, um, we've inherited a large body of work uh, that covers everything from cartoons to uh, port, you know, oil paintings, uh, sketches, you name it, uh, digital cartoons. In the back of my mind, I just always thought, gee, it'd be nice to have a, a permanent fixture, a gallery devoted to Dad and his work. I think that his, his work is worth that. It's, people are interested, people are walking in, and people are delighted when they walk around and they see the work. How much of it is um, a way of honouring your father? That's, that's what drives it in, yeah, look, <laughs> it's, th that drives it a hell of a lot of what I do, actually, and there's a lot of pride and satisfaction wrapped up in, in doing that, taking over a family, the family sort of role, or the dad's role is a lovely inher like inheritance of a kind of, almost like a family tradition or something. So there's a lot that's really, makes a lot of sense there, but then the flip side is, yeah, I'm constantly um, uh, reminded of him not being around and also, um, you know, you inevitably invite people to compare you to him, that's, that's a given, and there's just a lot that, that, that adds up to be, um, to make it some, sometimes a fairly high pressure sort of a gig.